is the thing. Well, we can't stop here, we can't get out. <laughs> this is episode two of our epic six day van life adventure across Australia. In the first episode, we used almost half of our limited kilometers, which took us from Adelaide to one of Australia's best Airbnbs in Forest, Victoria. We wandered in the Otways and walked among giants before making our way to the seaside. Today, we get the spirit of Tasmania from Geelong to Davenport, a trip which should have cost us over a thousand dollars, but we got for just 380. This 11 hour crossing is notoriously unpredictable, so we had no idea what to expect. Good afternoon from the state of Victoria. We found ourselves in Geelong by the beach. Just living up van life, we've made lunch in here. Delicious. We've been hanging out, getting some work done. We have heard <laughs> not the best things about this journey. It is notoriously choppy and people tend to get seasick. So I am a bit nervous. The internet says it's always rough <laughs> and very unpredictable. <laughs> Yay. We can see the ferry coming into terminal now. It's only a nine minute drive away. So I think we're gonna go try and meet it. So we got here really early. Apparently boarding doesn't start until seven and we're here way before that, but the line is huge. I think they're just organizing it now. We might need to scoot up a little. Honestly, couldn't have timed that better. As we got here with this view, the spirit of Tasmania made its way through. Everyone was waving on top. It was so cute. I'm so excited. Ooh, are you nervous? A little bit. Oh, no, I don't know what to do or what to expect. Thank you, how are you? Fine, but they give you your booking number on you. I have two. Yes. Um, <laughs> so that one's your body pass there awesome, with the recliner you. key on it, but you don't have to use that recliner, all right? <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Head up towards that security officer, and they'll guide you through the security. Perfect. Okay. Fantastic. Right Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you. She was super nice. We're on. Apparently it's not unusual with relocations for people to book a room with someone else. And now we're gonna go through quarantine and then we can get out and roam about. Hello. Hello, body pass, please. Oh. So far, smooth sailing. We have checked in. It took about 35 minutes, but it's a quick custom check. It's kind of weird because he's like, you have to hop out of the car. Then he was like, please hop back in the car. Why are you out of the car? It's like you said for me to hop out of the car. That's what I'm out of the car. We are just waiting now in line for maybe half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. I don't know. There is a bathroom and a cafe. So I might go use the toilet. Yeah. Barely had time for a wee and we ran out. Everyone in front of us had left. I think we are just lining up further along now. I think this is our final position until we get <coughs> so. until we get on the board. On the board. On the board. On the boat. It is 8.12 and they're starting to board cars. It's not too bad. I don't know how long this process is gonna take. We've just realized, I think we are 20th from the last, maybe. And we got here one of the first. <laughs> yeah, in the first line. In the first line, before it started to bend, we were waiting. <laughs> we could have gotten here now and boarded at the same time. But oh well, we got to see the boat come in. That was fun. Yeah, we got the full experience. Hmm. Whoa, they're on like a double decker. Yowza. I guess we can't do that way too at all. <laughs> I guess that's why they have to separate them, height. Yeah. Like that ramp would be down, all the smaller cars would go up the ramp. Yeah. And then the ramp comes down for us big boys. Big boys. Uh, what is this thing? We can't stop here, we can't get out. I can get out, we can get out my side. People must stop on here. Oh, that seemed like a solid break from him. This is home for the night for the car, I think. We are going upstairs. I don't know how, there's not much of a walkway. There's plenty of room. Yeah, I guess we'll be all right. Just being a wuss. <laughs> we 
Welcome to probably the quickest room tour we will ever do. This is it. We have an inside state room with two bunks, so four beds total, two chairs, a tiny little closety area that has one of the ladders, and our very own bathroom. Shower goes up to 38 degrees, so I will not be showering. <laughs> Quite nice. It's nice to have our own toilet, just to brush your teeth and need to go to the bathroom during the night. Do you want to sleep like bottom two so our heads can be together? That's cute. Like Looks like there's a couple of outlets throughout the room, a couple of hangers, and that's basically it. A huge mirror, I'm assuming. There's some speaker in here as well. Simple, but what else do you need on a ferry? I think we're about to sail away. We're going to go explore the ship. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Captain Dagana speaking. On behalf of the friendly crew of Spirit Tasmania, I'd like to welcome you on board Tarsus Crossing to Denport. Just about to close the valleys, we should be underway in about 10 minutes. Of the Australia, so about 12 tonight. Expect to be arriving alongside Denport just after 7.30 in the morning. Hope you enjoyed today's tonight's sail. Thanks for travelling in the spirit of Tasmania. Oh, it's a huge boat. We also went to see where Jordan should be sleeping, which is a tiny little recliner seat that I thought was broken, but I was just using it wrong. The recline's about that much. <laughs> there are technically four options when you're on the Spirit of Tasmania. The recliner seat is the cheapest, but it does have a tray table and a USB charger, which is super important and will come in very handy. It's public toilets and a little bag storage there as well. The next level up is what we've got, which is actually a four person room on the inside of the ship, so no port window. Next step up is that same room but on the outside, so you have a window and some natural light, which is something I would have probably splurged for if we were really paying for it. If it was a daytime cruise, I would have considered it, but yeah. it's basically overnight. Daytime's so important for it. The last and the best option on this whole boat is a deluxe cabin, which is, I think, just like an outside room that's got a double bed and maybe like bedside tables. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, that's not bad. It's probably like $700. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're moving. Oh my gosh. I think we're going to call it a night here and do a bit more of a ship exploration tomorrow morning. Once again, we do trust you to join your voyage on the Spirit of Tasmania. We do thank you for your patience for going out to late arrival this morning. Thank you. Good morning. It has just gone seven. We're running a little bit late, so we're not getting into eight now instead of. 7.30 or something. I don't know when we were meant to get in. I slept decently. Jordan was up basically all night. But we'll quickly show you around the ship before we have to hop off. Very quickly. The alarm we set for 6 a.m. did go off. And I just rolled over and like touched it. And then went back to sleep and then immediately it was seven. So <laughs> we don't have much time. <laughs> Be able to make it around the whole ship, but we're going to show you a few things that this place does have. Live music, fun zone, top deck lounge, pizza joint, slash bar, another bar, another bar, kids play area, recliner area, tourism hub, reception, and a reading room, convenience store, Tasmanian market kitchen. There is also a cinema and gaming lounge, but we can't seem to find our way there. Really, we don't have as much time as we thought, and we can't go to the other end of the ship. <laughs> Just gone eight o'clock, we just made it back to our camper van. A little bit of difficulty, we couldn't really remember what deck we were on, but we're here with plenty of time. Now we're just waiting to go, and I think we're gonna go into Devonport and try and find a cafe for lunch, for breakfast, for food. And I'm not driving because I didn't sleep very well. <laughs> I felt very uneasy. I think because the beds were at a right angle to each other, the way I was laying, the boat was kind of rocking me like this. Whereas I guess for you, it would have been like up and down. <laughs> so I think that's maybe why you got a little bit extra sick. Yeah. Melbourne, Melbourne, Melbourne. <laughs> Does that Melbourne, still Melbourne, count? Tasmania! <laughs> Yay! 